All right, testing one, two, three. We're back on live, live at the Shimmy Show. Trying to do a YouTube here in Denver, Colorado. I got a little break between my flight. A little bit of background noise here, but bear with me, people. Anyway, you know, I realize that a lot of people they write me and. Uh, I mostly get a lot of flack and criticism that I can't escape for being the uh, Mr. Shimmy Cash, the adult video producer, so I decided to just embrace it and just enjoy my life and pretty much mute most of those comments. In other words, here, uh, just living my life, doing the same thing I've always been doing here. I try to not let all this shit deter me. Although, like, probably 85% of the critiques or commentary I get are totally negative and threatening and, you know, just fucked up or whatever. I realize that some people need people like me in the world. They need me to be the bad guy in order to uh, feel good about themselves, I guess. Shit. It's not, no sweat off, how do you say, no skin off my balls, no sweat off my nuts, etc. It's what I do and I just keep on running and traveling and doing what I do. I just don't understand why people don't like me so much. Like, if you dislike a cartoon, do you dislike the cartoon creator? Or if you dislike what you hear on the news, do you dislike the news reporter? I don't know. As Akon says, I'm just a singer trying to entertain. It is what it is, man. The weather's actually pretty nice here in Denver, by the way. There's a lot of people here on this little monument thing. <laughs> don't worry about it. Anyway, it's pretty chill here, man. So let, let me go through some of the comments here and see what I got to do here. I actually have a flight to catch in a couple hours. This was a layover. This was totally unplanned and uh, whatever. But let's go through some comments again. I'm part of the problem, apparently. I'm about to be investigated for missing indigenous women. I'm disgusting. I'm a racist. I'm part of the problem. I'm sexualizing women. I'm fetishizing a group of women who go missing and murdered at alarming rates. I'm a weirdo. Uh, what else? Too bad I exploit this. Shame on you. Shame on me. So much shame in the world. I wish I could actually see these people on their camera while they were typing to me or whatever, but I really can't, you know? It is what it is. People really like this thing here. That's a nice thing. <laughs> So anyway, that's what's up. Anyway, Denver's a pretty live city, people. I, I don't think I'd move here or anything like that, but it's pretty entertaining. Seems like a pretty young city. Like, everybody here is fairly young and uh, energetic and shit like that. Everyone's looking at me as I do the podcast thing here on the mic, which is... Oh, look at that little thing go. <laughs> shit, man. Well, I hope you guys are doing the best. I wish you all the best in everything. I hope that the summer is good to you. I hope everything good comes to all you folks that watch the channel. Please uh, do your best to enjoy your life is all I could say, man. I hope that my message is positive and uplifting and inspiring to many of you. And just proof that, you know, if you have work ethic and you believe in something and you're doing something that's going to work, eventually it's going to work out for you. Eventually. And I'm living proof of that. You know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Chill it, man. You want to be on my little YouTube channel, man? Let me talk to you. Talk, 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 to, talk to the YouTube, man. Talk to the YouTube. Man, I want to get messy. What's your name, bro? Hey, man. King JP, the great ruler of the Golden State and all that. He surveys around here. You know what I mean? Out here in this Denver, though. Oh, you want me to hold you? Okay, yeah. Well, what's your name, sir? Uh, I'm fucking out. I'm sh uh, Shimmy. The YouTube channel I got is called Shimmy Cash. But I'm on there. I got a lot of subscribers and shit, though. Okay. But to get your little intro, you could put a plug. Again, if you got something going on. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. Stay down clothing. Dot com. Go holler at us. No fans. I told a bitch watch your studio. I said, I'm going to show you. I've got an Instagram or anything like that. You want to shout out on there? Uh, uh, no, Give me a shot. Where do you find you at? Stay down everything. Dot com. Black on clothing line. San Diego, West Coast. In the building. Yeah, I'm coming. Stay, stay down everything clothing. Dot com. Right on, brother man. I will look you up. How them things go, man? They all right? Hey, the hey, best. Hey, yeah. Do your thing, hey, dog. You do them t-shirts and stuff too, or what? Oh yeah, t-shirts, hoodies, joggers. He got t-shirts and everything. I'll show him the shirt. Show him the shirt. Show him the shirt. Show him the shirt. Do it in. Yes. 
StayDownEverything.com. StayDownEverything.com. That's your man right there. And you know, we, we, we are a firm believer in staying down in what you believe in. You know what I mean? In all avenues. Whatever you do in life, stay down. Stay down. And stay true to what you believe. Stay true to you. you That's what it means. Right on, brother man. Thank all right, you, now. Thank you for the message. My yes, love. Sir, Peace. All right, you hear that, y'all? StayDownClothing.com. We got a young black entrepreneur there doing his thing making his t-shirts and whatever, just like me. I make movies, he makes t-shirts. I sell poke bowls, everything like that. But uh, I like seeing people that are uh, independent, doing their own thing, you know what I'm saying? Not working for the man. This gentleman and myself have found a way to pay ourselves and make a living for ourselves. It's Entrepreneurship, I guess the word is, it's, it's more than about being your own boss. It's about just having full control over your time and whatever. All right, man, take it easy. <laughs> These guys have fun out here. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's all that's going on, man. Everybody's got to do their own thing in the world. As long as everybody wipes their own ass and takes care of themselves, in general, the world will fix itself is what I've learned. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot to... Uh, it's actually not a lot to process, really. Just take care of yourself and shit. If everyone could do that, you won't become a liability. I guess that's today's life lesson of the show, of the, the Shemi show. I'm just taking care of myself, people, and be that by using my camera, my body, my brain, my mind, whatever. That's how I get forward in the world without having to be dependent on other people. Regardless to what people think, you guys might think I'm crazy for running a porn site. You might think I'm crazy for running a restaurant. You might think I'm crazy for doing a lot of the shit that I do. It might be unorthodox to you because you're not me and you don't possess my same skill levels and experience. So, whatever. Not everybody can be Shemmy Cash. Anyway, it's nice to be me. You guys, peace and hair grease. I'm signing out from Denver, Colorado. Ciao.